I just watched Shang-Chi last night, so why not do a reaction to the Honest trailer? Cause I fucking love Screen Junkies. Roll the intro. King Bliss, yeah, we reppin' this bitch. And you know with the flow, I'm official like it's a rep in this bitch. And the way I write my lady, you laughing in bit. Now we on the big screen, we going up like watch your step in this bitch. And know the flow is still good in the drought. Switch you with the tongue twisting in the Midwest, but I live in the south. So there's really not much to say for this intro. Um I just watched the movie last night. I thought it was pretty decent. Um definitely wasn't the best Marvel movie, but I think there were parts of it that were definitely um they were definitely good because they were refreshing. Um, I thought the plot was a, a different enough from the typical Marvel movie that it felt definitely fresh, and it was very entertaining. There was some really great choreography. Um, the only problem, the big problem I really had with it was the final battle. I thought it was just a bunch of CGI bullshit, but other than that, I thought it was a pretty damn good movie. All the actors did a pretty good job. Um, so yeah, I definitely enjoyed it. So without further ado, three, two, one, Screen Junkies. This episode is presented by Supercuts. It's not just any haircut, it's Supercuts. Oh boy. Disney gave Cap and Tony Chinese cell phones, replaced a Tibetan hero with Tilda Swinton, and thanked prison camp bureaucrats at the end of Mulan. But now, the Magic Kingdom will pander to the Middle Kingdom by making a pretty kick-ass martial arts movie. Okay. It is pretty kick-ass. Better time they dropped a full episode of ER Shanghai and Iron Man 3. I am shocked this wasn't in the American cut. <laughs> Confusion? I don't know. For the very what first the fuck time, that was. The MCU is bringing a martial arts master from the comics to the screen. Yep, the very first time. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, well, I just realized that that actor was Loris Tyro. Just wanted to point that out. A guy whose most relatable quality is that he's also getting to know Shang Chi. Who are you? Your mother knew who she was. Do you? Who the hell are you? I'm not. Who do you think I am? Just like Spider-Man, he's a Parker with a secret identity because mm -hmm. underneath his obligatory abs beats the heart he's of a martial arts master. Oh, <laughs> martial arts expert. <laughs> Stop! Don't do him dirty martial like that. Martial arts enthusiast. But nothing will come between this one-punch manchild and the ultimate power fantasy. No, not joining the Avengers. Nope. Taking your father's ass. And if his punch. <laughs> The MCU's greatest threat has returned. Bad dads. Mm -hmm. Tony Long Daddy issues. As the most seamless example yet of digitally de-aged actors. What do you mean he still looks Wait. like that? Wow, not bad. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say he, that was not CGI. Like he actually looks like that. Still doesn't know between rings and bracelets. Who gave up all his power for a lady who blew him in the woods? <laughs> In addition to you his know what you did, bracelets, Screen Junkies. He also commands the Ten Rings. You know what you did. A secret group like Hydra, or Shield, or Sword, or the Scrolls, or the Hand, or the Eternals. But what's haven't seen the, the Eternals yet? Marvel's other Illuminatis, and presumably Marvel's Illuminati, is that the Ten Rings provide exciting new opportunities in the world of evil franchising. He appropriated the Ten Rings. My Ten Rings. Open up a ten rings in a country near you. You're more than just an evil franchise. We're an evil family. 20% cash down payment required. <laughs> Journey to Ta Lo. Presumably the inspiration for ancient Chinese legends. Ancient Middle Earth legends. Hmm. <laughs> Stop. And legendary Pokemon. <laughs> for a film that blends the action comedy of a Jackie Chan flick. Kind of, with yeah. the high-flying combat of Wuxia. And the CGI toilet slurry of a Marvel third act. Yeah, no, CGI was not. This, that final battle was not because it. Because while an emotional, expertly choreographed martial arts showdown between father and son is cool, yep. isn't it way cooler when a bunch of weightless polygons smash into each other? No. No? Then why does it keep happening? That's what I said. That's what I'm saying. Sean won't have to fight alone. He's joined by his sister, Jean Ling, who learned Badass. to fight just by auditing classes at Murder University. <laughs> Trevor Slatterly, who pissed nerds off so much in Iron Man 3 that his only friend is a psychic chicken made out of butt. <laughs> Where's yeah. his face? Mm, psychic butt chicken. 
<laughs> and Aquafina, who pulls off four classic Marvel roles at the same time. Platonic love interest. Okay. Reaction face giver. Okay. Uh, that just happened, sidekick. A guy with a freaking machete for an arm just chopped our butts in half. Sean used the ten rings to like do this like crazy Kamehameha fireball that exploded the thing. And that dragon vomited a magical water map, and now I have no idea what's real. And Hawkeye. Yeah. Upgrade. Yeah, so for a franchise whose roots are an openly racist <laughs> money grab, enjoy a Ooh. film that does its part to smash those stereotypes, except the one about Asian dudes being the biggest sneakerheads. <laughs> this solid martial arts fantasy flick, full this, of that scene was really cool. That, that scene was funny. That stands on its own without resorting to crossovers and team ups mm. until after the credits, of course. They don't match yeah, I was gonna say. Codex. They're not vibranium. Not like any alien tech I've seen. This could have been an email. <laughs> Starring. Destiny's Child Soldier, Ring Pop, House of Flying Swagger, The Human Calendar. We've been friends for 10 years. Yeah, you know I'm not an idiot. I've been by your side for half your life. Your dad. Yeah, these like expositional lines were kind of a bit stilted. You want to hit at 14. Can you punch with all the colors of the wind? Deputy Dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, your name is, is Razor Fist? Ant Man. Okay. <laughs> the Last Dragon. Your soul is mine. <laughs> a normal day on the SF Metro. And how Marvel casts its male heroes. Love that guy. I'll take your shirt off. <laughs> Once upon a time. <laughs> it's so true. Dimension. I love you. Now take your shirt off. Hmm, You're so in the Sean movie. Works with cars. Pretty much. He's not proud of who he used to be. And he has a difficult relationship with his dad. Something about that backstory seems convenient. Hey, Screen Junkies. Before Hawkeye comes out. Okay, uh, that was, I mean, that was pretty funny. Like I was saying, they did point out, like, the CGI bullshit finale. Did not like that. Um, the best part of the, the strongest part of the movie for me was um, those, like, personal, uh, like, the, like, the fight scenes where they were very well choreographed, so they felt, like, personal because the characters were, like, up close with each other and stuff. It wasn't, like, super large scale, and it was just so well choreographed and well performed. Like, the stunt doubles and everything did a great job. So that was the strongest part of the movie for me. So at the end, when they just went full blown like giant scale CGI monsters, I was like, "Really? Like that's how you're gonna finish this movie? This movie could have ended with like such an amazing uh, fight scene, but instead you just went for like the CGI fuck fest. Like it just it, it didn't connect with me. I really did enjoy the rest of the movie. It, it was a very fun movie. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.